watching every slasher movie on Tubi Part 16, and today we're talking about Evil Laugh. Let's get down to the rundown. The movie revolves around a group of med students who were fixing up an old house. The only problem is it was the site of a mass murder years ago. <laughs> oh boy. First thing I want to say about this movie is it is very self-aware and it does mention other slashers and you can tell that it's really not trying to take itself seriously at all. So that's something. And the kills are pretty decent here. Of course, it's practical effects, but the budget is low, so they're not as good as they probably could have been in some of the other films that had bigger budgets during this time in the 80s. But uh, there was a kill involving a microwave that I really enjoyed. But God, some of this dialogue is terrible, and the acting is even worse. And and the killer right here on the poster, throw that out the window. It, you don't get you don't get nowhere near that cool of a killer. You, you want to see what you got to work with? Check this out. <laughs> look, at look, at look, look at it. Look at it. He's got, he's got dish gloves on and some luchador mask, some wrestling mask with a, oh, oh my God. Is it predictable? Yes. But is it still mildly amusing? Yes as well, because there's just some, once again, unintentionally funny spots in this film and we gotta talk about the 80s cheesy music that accompanies this because dear god it is just bad and the laugh that the killer has is just so terrible like i don't know how to explain it it's not on par with dr giggles okay there's only one killer that laughs that we appreciate and it's dr giggles just just look just <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't. Every time that I would see this on the screen, I just would die laughing. When I say it's unintentionally hilarious, there's nothing menacing about this at all. I spent more laughing during this movie than anything, so because it actually made me laugh so much, I would give it a four and a half out of ten. Uh, so yeah, it's on Tubi if you want to check it out. 